Today, we're going to install a linear WD500Z, a wall mount dimmer switch. This switch allows you to remotely turn on and off or dim the lights that are connected to the switch. They are all easily wired in place of a standard wall dimmer switch. Before starting any project, you should make sure that the power is turned off at the breaker box so there's no safety hazard whatsoever inside the junction box. Remember, in a multi-gang situation, there may be more than one breaker for the box, so be sure to check. Test the circuit to ensure the power is off. To begin installation of the WD500Z, remove the existing wall plate and switch. When removing the old switch, make note of the wire configuration inside the junction box. Typically, the hot is a single black wire, while the load could be multiple wires controlling multiple fixtures all being dimmed by the same device. Be sure to cap the black hot wire with a wire nut for safety and identification purpose later in the installation. Leave the load wires bare. The linear wall mount switch comes with pre-stripped wires for your convenience. The white wire is the neutral, the black wire is the hot, the green wire is the ground, and the blue wire is to control the load. Attach the green ground wire with the bare copper ground wires utilizing a wire nut. Make sure it's tight. The next step is attaching the white neutral wire. Again, you will attach the wires using a wire nut. Be careful not to over twist the wire nuts as you can strip the threads inside. Next, connect the blue wire on the switch to the load wire or wires depending on your configuration. The load wires are the wires that go to the lighting device itself. Finally, connect and secure the black hot wire. You'll notice I give a little tug to the wire nuts to make sure that they are secure on the wires. Carefully place all of the wires back inside the junction box, making sure that all of the wire nuts stay connected. Now it's time to mount the switch. The WD500Z has an LED and air gap switch that should be located at the bottom of the device when mounted. The green LED light will indicate if the circuit is off and also serves as a night light so you can find the switch in the dark. The air gap switch is for safety and allows you to completely turn off the power to the device when it is time to replace the light bulbs. Once the switch is mounted, you can replace the wall plate. After the wall plate is mounted, the installation is complete and you can now turn the power back on at the breaker box and test the circuit. Be sure the air gap switch is pushed in before testing. The WD500Z has the ability, using Z-Wave RF technology, to remotely control on-off and dimming. It's an excellent addition to any standard home automation system and can be controlled by any gateway, controller, or mobile application.